Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing the AuthorTube Christmas tag. Merry Christmas everyone! Since this Monday is Christmas, I thought I had to do a Christmas theme video for today's video. So I decided to do the AuthorTube Christmas tag that I've seen going around. I was not tagged by anybody specifically, but I thought it looked like fun and so I'm going to answer some of the questions. And I thought it would also be fun to give some visual aids, some drawings of my characters. My book is multiple point of view and it does focus on a group of friends. So I'm going to answer some of the questions with different characters. I'm going to go with whichever character I feel like suits the question best. So I'm just going to get right into it and you'll see what I mean. Question one is what would your main character's favorite Christmas song be? And for this one, I'm going to answer it with Jesse. This is Jesse. And Jesse would sing All I Want for Christmas is You. And he would actually be secretly singing it about Kira, who is his best friend. They have been neighbors since they were both like one or two years old. He's got a, a secret love going on that's not, not that secret, but like people know about it, but like he thinks it's a secret. And there's, there's a dynamic there, as you can probably see with this picture. And then his little sister would probably try and secretly film him singing that song. And it would be interesting. <laughs> Question two it is, is out of all of your characters, which one would be the best gift giver? This one is really obvious. This has to go to Natalie. As you can see in this picture, she is at a mall. Natalie loves fashion and she loves to just shop in general. So, oh wait, it's not destroying my lighting, hold on. Natalie loves to shop, so she would definitely be the best gift giver because she would know exactly what store to go to to get everyone their presents. She's also super nice and really like, really thoughtful and nice and like pays attention to her friends a whole lot, so she would also know the perfect gift for them in the perfect store to find it. Next question is, what would be your main character's favorite thing about the holidays? And I'm going to answer this for all of the five core main characters. <laughs> it's a multiple point of view novel. There's a lot going on. And aside from the obvious answer of family and friends, which I believe would be all of their answers, I'm gonna go with like a different one aside from that. So Kira loves TV and movies. If you want to know more about her, I did the meet my MC tag with her as the main character I chose. She loves TV and movies and so she would definitely love watching those cheesy Christmas movies. You know the ones, like those ones on Netflix that are ridiculous. She would love watching those, probably with Natalie, who is her best friend. She might try and force Jesse to, Jesse and Sean, who I haven't mentioned Sean yet, to watch them, but it might not work out so well. She'd definitely get Natalie to watch them though. <laughs> Natalie, again, would obviously, her favorite part about the holidays would be an excuse to do more shopping. The girl loves to shop and also to see her friends' faces when they get their gifts. Now, I know I haven't mentioned him before, but Natalie has a twin brother named Sean. He is super silly, and he also really loves to eat. So his favorite part about the holidays would be all of the delicious holiday food, because, like, he loves snacks so much. Snacks are like his life. <laughs> Jesse, again, would love decorating his house with Kira and his younger sister. And then we have Tess, the fifth of the main core five characters. She is an artist and she would like to make fun holiday DIY crafts for everyone and also just to make decorations in general. All those holiday DIY videos, Tess would be doing those. In case you're wondering how they all met, Kira and Jesse have been neighbors since they were toddlers and they met Natalie and Sean in preschool. So the four of them have been best friends forever and then they met Tess in school when they went to a boarding school where my book takes place. Like the point of the book is there's a portal behind the school that leads to another dimension. So they met Tess. Tess is Natalie and Kira's roommate at the boarding school. Next question is your main character and their love interests step under the mistletoe. What happens? Spoilers! Spoilers. Ho ho ho. Who is on the naughty list? I'm going to be very obvious and say the villains of my story, which are the king and queen who ruled this medieval kingdom. 
they're not very nice. So they would definitely be on the naughty list because they, one, the king likes to kill people and the queen, she's just not a good person. She, she's just not. <laughs> How would your main character decorate their home? So this one I'm gonna give to you again. Twins, Natalie and Sean, they would just go all out with the Christmas decorations. They're fun, easily excitable people. So they would be the ones who like convince their parents to buy all the crazy Christmas decorations, but the parents would be like, once they're old enough, the parents would be like, well, you can do all of this because it's ridiculous. And then they would just go out and like decorate their house like crazy. Similar to the next question, which is which character would hold the New Year's Eve party? Again, Natalie and Sean would definitely be the party people, and they would kind of split up the tasks and everything. Sean would definitely be in charge of food and music, and then Natalie would be in charge of decorating and the guest list. They'd probably get like all their friends' help to do the party, because they're that kind of close group of friends that just do everything together. <laughs> I think of them kind of as like friend, the friends from Friends, but in high school and a boarding school. Okay, the next one, I don't really have a great answer for it, and that is what would be your main character's New Year's resolution? And I can't really say that because a lot of things happen in the book. The first book in the series actually takes place in October, so we don't even get to New Year's in the book, and a lot of stuff happens that would affect probably their New Year's resolution, so realistically I can't say what it would be. But I will just quickly say what each character's opinions on New Year's resolutions are, just so you get a feel for them. Once again, they're not the same person at all, but Natalie and Sean's opinion would be pretty similar. <laughs> they would be all gung-ho about it at first and be like, yes, this is what we're going to do. This is my resolution. I'm sticking to it all year this time. And then by like March, they would probably have forgotten about it. Tess would be the super planner and she would probably be the one most likely to plan it out and actually stick to it for, if not the whole year, at least six months. Jesse would probably just say New Year's resolutions are stupid and he's not going to bother because they never actually work. And Kira would be the opposite and she would say New Year's resolutions are so important and she would just like spend January planning them out like a crazy person, probably with Tess and they would be all gung-ho about their plans. Except for Kira would like, Kira, Kira would probably last till like March, maybe about three months into the year. Um, I got that mixed up with Natalie and Sean would probably last till like February and then forget about the resolutions entirely. <laughs> what would be your character's perfect holiday destination? My characters are all teenagers, so they pretty much just spend holidays with their families. They don't really go anywhere fancy to the holidays. I haven't really thought about this, <laughs> obviously. I don't know. Maybe like somewhere fun to go, either like snow tubing or skiing or some fun winter sport. Something with like fun and snow. I kind of mixed up the questions. Whatever, we're just gonna go with it. I'm skipping the holiday tradition one because I haven't thought about it. Who would be the number one person that your main character would want to spend the holidays with? And since again they are a group of friends, their main people they'd want to spend the holiday with would be each other and their family. Which character is ruining the photo with funny faces? That would definitely be Sean. He's very goofy. But he'd probably like get the whole group to join in and so they'd probably end up just having a group of serious photos and then a group of silly ones. So that is it for the author two Christmas tag. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about my characters because I really love them. I think they're a lot of fun. And I hope you liked them or what you saw of them in this tag as well. I'm not going to tag anyone because again this video is going out on Christmas so it's kind of late to tag anybody at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I upload new videos on Mondays plus the occasional surprise videos so please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Hit the little bell notification icon if you want to be notified every time I upload and as always thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas. Bye!